Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use source control in Visual Studio Code. As you can see, we have a tab here called source control. And if you uh, check, here is a one return here. It means you have one and uh, changes in your file that you have not committed. So in the previous video, I talked about git. What is git? And this is exactly git here. So you can either use command line or you can use the, the, the graphical user interface here. As you can see, it is the trans source control then colon git because they are using git if you want to use the uh, the command line one just press control tilde and it, it will open the terminal here you can use your terminal to commit all the changes for example if you want to commit you can just write uh, git commit hyphen m and then you can write a message here this is the same way if you uh, just write your come in here your message and press control enter it will commit all the changes for example we say created the mm, blue print then you if you press enter it, nothing will happen you press control enter it will uh, save all the changes as you can see they say it it failed to execute if i cancel this one refresh the page as you can see we don't have any changes because we did that previously using here every time you do you, you use multiple application that's why it just uh, bring the changes and if you do not refresh it will remain here for example for now if i press space here as you can see here is the green line here it means these are unchanges files if you save this one now you have one changes here means you have added the space now you can come here and control enter this time you don't have any error plus you have the tick mark here you can add the commit for example you add a style for uh, uh, CSS style here the background color should be red of course the body is not a class it is just an element you save this one and again you have a changes here you can start committing of course in your practical application you do not commit for every small changes this still this is what you are going to do changed background control enter and it will change or save all the changes and all those changes will be saved if you push them on github okay talking about push and pull here is the more option here if you click on the more you have pull and you have push option here pull will take all your data to the github push will uh, take all those data back sync will have a connection between them if anyone bring any changes it will auto automatically update all your data as i said when you are using github multiple people can work on the project that's why most of the time if you want to work on any the newer version of your application make sure you you pull them first okay i did i i, I did a mistake on push will uh, pull uh, will take all your uh, file from here to the github pull will take them out from github down to your local directory most of the time you when you work on uh, your application you work that like this that you have the your local environment and you have your global the global one is where everyone have access to the master branch when you bring any changes then you can come here to the more option and then push them to the github something like that if you want to push somewhere else you can push to or pull to from to anywhere else you can use this one and you can commit all uh, commit all emit and there are some others you can learn about github of course it will take time to learn but the basic stuff is here you can bring the changes you can save them and all the save, uh, changes will be uh, will be shown here something a green box here plus if you come to the gate here uh, you can close this one again you can open this uh, of course there are some more options for example if i come and see undo the last commit you can undo the last commit or oh, the last commit you brought through the here and it should show you all the changes here for example if i bring any changes here and save the file it should show it here if i come and click on this one it will display both files side by side for me now as you can see this was not previously here we have added them this is the new one 
and this is the old one you can view them side by side which changes you have brought and which changes you didn't so this is another cool feature about visual studio code i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and thank you for watching